a lot of your clientele is going to appreciate a, a, a polished truck compared to a, a crap truck. But hey, let's oh, go with yeah. your philosophy. Nice and shiny. Come on. Come on. Grabbing the bull by the horns is essentially what you have to do on a lot of projects with a detailer's eye. There are a lot of truck washes out there that are nicknamed a skip and jump because they skip things and they miss a whole lot that a trucker or the driver or owner of the equipment will notice, especially if they are detail oriented. It's important to have the mentality that each piece of equipment you work on is as if it were your own. Our business primarily grew by word of mouth. It was friends of friends that started contacting us and before we knew it, we had a full-fledged business of polishing. As the demand grew for polishing and as people began to find out what our services are, We've met the demands for the big diesel world as well as industrial, automotive, antiques, RV, marine applications, as well as any other type of recreational needs that a person may want or need to have to get that perfect shine. <music> polishing trucks uh, what actually got us into polishing was we ran our own trucking fleet and we tried really hard to keep our trucks looking clean and you know a lot of people would ask well who polishes your trucks and and we we did we'd say we do and um, at that point a lot of people started asking us to polish their trucks and in the process we learned a lot too through the College of Hard Knocks we've definitely come up with our own theories about polishing and how something ought to be polished. Um, at that point we started polishing a lot for outside sources and polishing on the weekends and pretty soon we got busier and busier and our friends of, of our friends of our friends started asking, oh well, I saw so and so's truck and you guys did a really good job and can you get mine done and pretty soon before we knew it we were actually uh, polishing full time and, and um, we actually hired a couple individuals to help us out and never looked back since.
really, I think where there's a wheel, there's a way. Uh, where there's a metal, we could shine it up. And I, you know, there's a lot to the process. It's usually like a three step process, but there's also mini steps or bigger steps that you could take to bring out the kind of shine and the kind of glow that you want. And uh, that's what we do is a show shine every time here at Jackson Express. And I think that, you know, we were into doing some new things and trying some new ways to improve our work and our art and bring out the best of the shine. You been in the shop today, Polish and Nathan? Yeah. Have you got much done in the office? No, not today. Oh good. Have you been in the office today? Yeah. You get a lot done in the office? Yep. Cool. So now the match is lit and the fire is burning. Burning for the desire to polish. If you want to get out there and start polishing, do your research and get a good arsenal of tools. No good carpenter builds a house without a hammer and a nail. Well, get out there, be a weekend warrior, and get yourself a good arsenal of tools and product to begin the shine life. Here at Jackson Express Polishing, we use both a variable speed polisher as well as a fixed speed grinder. Definitely be careful. Know what you're doing, get out there, take risks, and go ahead and begin the shine life. Come on.